O oh, noble Pharaoh, Cleopatra the Seventh, consort of Caesar, and now Anthony, the destiny of Egypt is in your hands. But your hands now nest in those of a Roman, Mark Antony, and he is deeply embroiled in the struggle for control of Rome and its legions. Needing Egypt's inestimable resources, but also desiring your love and affection, Antony agreed to your demand of marriage. Unfortunately, word of this new union has scandalized Rome. As you were aware, Antony was still wed to Octavia, sister of Octavian, legal heir of Caesar, and with Antony, joint wielder of Rome's might. But with the news of the polygamous ways of Antony, this relationship has become severely strained. Octavian feels that Antony has slurred not only the honor of his sister and his family, but the prestige of Rome as well. To settle this matter of honor, and to bring to an end the struggle for ultimate control of Rome, Octavian has duly challenged your lover, Antony, to do battle. With this in mind, Antony, accompanied by you and your Egyptian fleet, has found a location on the Greek mainland near Actium for a camp. The site offers a good harbor, with many potential berths for your ships. You must quickly build up your military, especially the naval arm. Octavian has vowed to return in September of the year 31. Now your fate, and Mark Antony's, as well as the fate of Egypt and Rome, depend once again upon the performance of military might. Hey guys, welcome back to Pharaoh, Cleopatra, and the finale, the final of final missions, Actium, Anthony and Cleopatra. And these objectives seem pitifully small. Population of 1000, kingdom rating of 50, but it says it's going to be a military mission, particularly naval. And it even tells us when they're going to start invading, I assume by sea. So September of the year 31. Oh, and uh, well, we're playing on very hard, so let's go ahead and go to the city. Loyal soldiers rejoin you. All right. Your best soldiers from the previous mission wish to rejoin you. Build infantry and archer forts for these warriors and they will return. Let's slow the game down. Let's pause the game. It says we've got 72 months until victory and this is a monumental mission as it is the final mission in the entire campaign. And I started this playthrough in 2012 and it's 2019 if you, if you notice the date down below. <laughs> So uh, it took us seven years to get here, but we are here. All right, let's... Uh, I, I've had a quick look at the start of this mission, and we can just sort of go over what we've got here. Uh, we've got some farming areas, but can we actually farm on this mission? No, we can't. Uh, we've got tons of papyrus. We've got trees. Under raw materials, we have woodcutter. So this is, this is just for decoration. Uh, we've got some trees. Uh, we've got fish. Some trees over there, but noticeably, you see these islands, right? So usually I'd think, hmm, maybe I could go hide on the islands. But this mission is made difficult by its limitations. By its limitations. Um, there's no water crossing. There's no water crossing. You see that? Hmm. I always call the reeds papyrus here. But we do have antelopes, which is good. Uh, 5,200 denarii, not that much, and it's January 35 BC. Uh, meanwhile, gods, we have just one, Ra, and our target population is 1,000. Um, did I say denarii? It's divan. It's, it's divan. It's not denarii. Okay. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, uh, where are we? We're here over in Greece, in Actium. Athens is a water trade route. They only buy grain. Alexandria buys wood, water trade route, and that's it, and that's it. Luxury goods, can we even import gems? No. So we just have to sell wood as quickly as possible. Now looking at these trees, um, can we get the music going? The music is not starting. I don't know. It's fine. We'll just start building. How are we going to plan this? We need... So we need to sell 2,500 wood a year with some surplus for creating naval warships, which we can. Under defensive structures, no towers as well. So I think they're going to come by sea and we have to destroy them. So those carryover troops we might not even go for. 
can we tax people on this? You can't tax people either. There's no palace. Okay, so we just need... So let's say each produces 500 a year. We need six woodcutters. Yeah, I need six woodcutters with the trees sort of spread around here. I want the woodcutters right here. So I'm actually going to start with that. And I'm just going to put down six woodcutters. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to be the foundation of our city. Okay. Uh, this road is going to extend up to there. And we will be roadblocking here and roadblocking here. And we could then have a housing block right here. Roadblocking here. And we're going to have our first house there. And the second house here. And we'll be roadblocking that. So this is going to cover our uh, water stuff. So our third house will want to be there. Because this road will want to just pass by that house before it comes back up here to the docks and all of that. Okay. Oh, this is going to be our start. This is going to be our start. The game is going. Are people moving in? Yes. Uh, how many houses do we even need? Probably quite a few, right? Uh, we're going for a thousand population. We can feed people. So I can just sort of space save and have the granary and stuff right here. I suppose it might be better if I just stick it up here, right? Yeah, it'll be better if it's here. So I, if I stick the granary here and I go two hunting lodges And the bazaar, straight away. Right there, yeah. And this is going to be just using game meat. Let's speed up the game. Uh, let's put down the rest of the houses. I think I will need a bit more than this. Hmm. Yeah, I should do a little bit of fishing to stockpile that as well. So I'm going to just build this up. I don't know if we have rescue funds on this. But let's get the water supply down. Finally, the music kicks in. Oof, I've been waiting for that. Employees needed. Yes, uh, let's not have things burn down, though. Um, firehouse. Firehouse. Architect's post. Architect's post. I'd like a backup firehouse on this block, and then we'll also need a firehouse on this block, and an architect's post on this block to make sure that is covered. Uh, we will need an apothecary and a physician, right? And we'll prioritize infrastructure, health and sanitation to make sure the nothing burns down. Because things are already starting to burn. Okay, make sure those guys are walking out. Yes. Let us quickly prioritize health and sanitation to get the water dispenser going. Water carrier? Water carrier. Come on. Send someone out. Send someone out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Water carrier. It's kind of important that you go. Okay. Reprioritize back that way. Deprioritize. Actually, keep that prioritized. That's two. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is all gonna... Do we have beautification? We don't. Uh, so we'll probably need... At least one temple to Ra. We'll be space saving. Um... Just in case I need more room. And I'm gonna... Put down a shrine to Ra here. Because I know I'm gonna need that. Okay. Now, people are moving in. We're short by 100 employees. 
I'm going to need a storage yard, like here. Can I fit a dock, like here? I can. Oh, that worked out real nice. Uh, so I want the storage yard to be here. And this is just going to be holding... We could hold half fish, half wood. And then we can get things going, yeah? Uh, we will need, most definitely, a ship, right? And we will most definitely need a dock. And we might as well get a single fishing wharf going. Like this, okay? And that's all the basics that we need. We've got our money going out, we've got our food coming in. Now I know usually one hunting spot requires one hunting lodge, and it tends to turn out to be more food than you expect. So, this should be fine. Uh, we're gonna feed these houses. Do we have any ent zero entertainment? Okay, so I, I can't remember how many people can fit in a single house. But we're gonna have to figure that out. Yeah, but all the houses are on the same block, so that's good. Uh, I'll just need to scatter shrines around if I need to get them to evolve. Anything burning? Anything collapsing? No? Okay, good. Alright, we're not in debt yet. Which is good. Oh, we also have the mansion? Right, we have the Dynasty Mansion. And... Uh, okay, I don't like bringing over savings. So I'm gonna try not use this. So keep, keep in mind, I've brought over 1,480. Right? So I don't want to use that, if at all possible. Because I don't like bringing over savings, it feels a little cheaty. So if I can win this without doing that, what's our Kingdom rating needed? 50. Okay. If there's a request, they'll push it over. But if we go into debt... Hmm. Building the Dynasty Mansion will cost a thousand. So if I can get everything down and then put down the Dynasty Mansion, that'll be good. Okay, we're starting to chop trees. I think six is kind of the max here. Right? If I, if I just sort of think one, two, three, four, five, six... I don't think more than six will get us any more wood. Okay, how many people? We're still short by 100 employees. Uh, I think I need to throw down. Uh, are these all still empty? Oh, these are all still empty, right. It's just the immigration limit. How many people can move in in one month? Okay. So things are starting. We've got hunters going out. Antelopes are no match for us. Yeah, well, they better not be. Otherwise, this kingdom is kind of doomed. <laughs> Alright, we are getting the fishing wharf going. This will hold the fish, the wood, it's not too far either. Okay, uh, I don't know if I could possibly get... Let's throw down another shrine and maybe, maybe that'll get us a raw blessing, maybe. Yeah, but I don't think we can even build a festival square on this one. Okay. Uh... Oh, did it? Oh, it sent up the first units of wood to the shipwright. Okay. So we can't really get into our military. Weaponsmith. I don't think... Police station. I have not put down a police station. So let's get one of those down. I forgot about that. Um, okay, we haven't forgotten anything else. Nothing's burning. Nothing's collapsing. Good. Okay, policeman's going out. There is a Everybody's friendly here. No one is reporting any crimes. Okay, so the second unit of wood will go to the shipwright as well. Um, we don't have enough people. I think we need to prioritize food production and distribution because that's going to get us more people. So we need to make sure people don't actually starve. More wood's coming in. Okay, some food's going out. We have a hundred units of game meat. Everyone will eat antelope. Okay. Okay, we fed some people. So desirability is holding it back. Uh, yeah, this area especially. So the first feeding will just sort of slowly go out. They took like 48, 7, 7, yeah. 
This is two employees. Yeah, that, that fishing boat is not coming in anytime soon. But as these houses evolve, uh, we will start to see more people move in. Food is trickling in. There's 400 in the granary now, so that's good. Okay. Bazaar just took 400. This will be good. Yeah, these first few houses are getting fed first. There's 200 wood in the shipwright. Okay, we're now feeding more people. They're upgrading it ev uh, even now. So this is... Oh, still desirability issues. Okay. What is the highest level housing? So this can hold 36. Common shanty. Oh, save the game. Yeah, we gotta save a lot here. This is Clio 15A. Let's save right there. So putting down a warship wolf will cost 900. Uh, and we just don't have enough people anyway. Maybe I can deprioritize this now? Okay, yeah, it auto-prioritizes anyway. So industry is starting to pick up here. I think I now prioritize the industry. Let's uh, not prioritize it like that. Let's make sure I wanted this to be one, this to be two. This to be three, that to be four. That kills food production and distribution. But we need the money. And as people move in, that will bring things back up. Okay. Oh, plant more housing. There's still room to move in. Oh wait, maybe not quite. Let's bring in a few more housing. We're short by 35. Okay, that should be more than enough. Here comes the wood. So now I can open that trade route uh, to Alexandria. Let's open this and start exporting everything we've got surplus. The fishing boat is finally done. Now, do I go into debt for a warship? I did just save. There should be rescue funds, right? I'm putting it down. Um, what was that? Out of money. Okay, so we got like a thousand rescue funds. Okay, we got a thousand rescue funds. Now, because the kingdom rating is such an issue, we have to be careful. We have to be careful because um, uh, if we end the year in debt, we can lose a lot of money. But here's the first trader. I love the art of the deal. I can't wait to trade my supplies. So I need to make sure this continues functioning. Okay, military and food production is going back up in terms of employment. Very good. More people moving in. Desirability might be an issue on this side, so I probably should avoid building houses on this side. Okay, there's lots of food ready to go into the granary. We are currently short by 26 employees. Okay, those houses can evolve. Yeah, these all just have desirability issues. So if we're putting shrines, it needs to be on that side. Uh, where can I put... Can this fit here? If I kick out a couple houses, I can fit the Dynasty Mansion here. And that should solve any desirability issues on this side. Okay, we've got a warship. Traders coming in. Let's just make sure... We've got 900 wood. That's going to be worth quite a lot. How much is wood selling for? 170. So buy that. Here comes a bit more. So that's 1,000 wood. We might be able to th sell 1,100 if it arrives in time. 1,100. Almost a full deal. What a bountiful journey. Okay. We're going to deprioritize that, let food go back out, so I can make room for the Dynasty Mansion there, which will solve any desirability issues. And I think I put it down, right? So I can start saving. So if I go into debt, let's set my salary to 8. Yeah. So 1480. Guys, remember, 1480, that's the limit of how much I don't want to spend. Okay, this evolves these houses up. 
Um, so we can fit 36 plus 8. Uh, that is for 44. We can fit 44. What is a thousand divided by 44? Okay, it's a new year. So I can now continue the warship production. Okay, wood is streaming in. 44 per house. Is it 22.72? So let's say 23. Do I have 23 houses? Uh, one employees needed. Okay, one. Uh, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, this is an odd number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, so that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 15. So I actually need a few more houses. So I need like that. We can start getting this in. It actually needs quite a lot of houses at this size. Because we can't evolve them beyond rough cottages. We actually need that many houses, I think. Hmm. Okay. Well, the warships are coming in. Fish is stockpiling. Wood's going out. Okay. So, this has... Oh, that still has some desirability issues. Food is slowly distributing. The antelopes are still there. Luckily, there's only one source of antelope, so it doesn't glitch out. That has happened before. Um, oh, this road I see is a problem. I need to move this fishing wharf. One, two. Three, four, five, I see a problem. I actually need to use this coast. Can I fit two here? It needs to go up to there. So I'll need to stick a house there, unfortunately. with all the other things, but with this many houses... Oh, we actually have unemployment, yeah, that's fine. Um, let's stick a couple houses and just throw down the necessities. Firehouse, architect's post, police station, apothecary, position. There's room for two wolves. Um, So I'm going to have to move this to have it do something like this instead and put the fishing wharf here. And I probably don't want to put down the warship wharf quite yet. Do I actually have... Uh, are people going to get really unhappy? Um, just in case, I'll drop this. People are still very pleased with me, but... I think I overbuilt houses. I think I overbuilt houses. I could just move the storage out. I could... I wouldn't really solve the problem that much. Why is there... Oh, he's taking goods elsewhere, but the shipwright is full. I see. Is it too close and it actually glitched out? Okay. So I actually got too many people. And that might... Well, that brought down unemployment a little bit. Do I just throw down another hunting lodge to make sure we're maxing that out? Because I don't think... Can we chop any more trees? I might be able to do another... Maybe one more woodcutter? I mean, having extra doesn't hurt. Oh, there's trees down here as well. I didn't see those ones. Maybe a seventh woodcutter will do. Meanwhile, I don't think we can max our trade anymore, right? We can import pottery. But we don't have any entertainment, so that doesn't matter. We can import luxury goods. 
We can import types of food and... Yeah, okay, so... It doesn't really do too much. Okay, so right now, the only objective is to build more warship wharves. Which we can do with each sail. I'm just gonna go two, straight up. Like that. And make sure nothing burns down. Well, since we're making sure, and we have unemployment, I'm just gonna guarantee it. Okay, fishing is continuing. We have four warship wharves. We have the Dynasty Mansion. We are saving some money here. Now the thing about the gifts is this number is based on what we have here. So it's, it's hard to not go below the number we started with. But I think you only need like four or five hundred for the max gift. Right? So when I get to 1,900, when I hit 2,000, when I hit 2,000 here, well, like 1,900 plus, I will send a gift. Okay, wood streaming in, very good. Fish is coming back, good. 10% unemployment, okay. These each take 15 people, okay, so that's where most of our employment should be going. Okay, we've got plenty of game meat. Please buy more wood. There we go. And I would like to max this out when possible. So I'm gonna put that down. That helps with unemployment as well. Okay, okay. Lorg says, just watch a Caesar 3 playthrough. Oh, thank you so much, Lorg. Hope you enjoyed it. Might want to stop wood exports. Um, you know, the, I, thinking of the fish and all of that, there's probably going to be requests. So, you know, I it is a good idea. We, we know requests happen. So I'm going to start at 400. I'm just going to stockpile 400, sell the excess. I'm sure there's going to be requests on this mission. Maybe of game meat as well, but uh, we can. I think we can pick that up pretty quick. Population is 800. I might have overbuilt house. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> um, 500 then. Okay. Uh, we're still using it up, but we have five ships. Okay, so one more, and that'll be good. So we're producing quite a lot of wood, so that request is actually not difficult. Because we have seven woodcutters, and I think there's still trees on the map. Yeah. I wonder what the max is. Like, if, if you're min-maxing this mission, you could probably min-max this in a way where it'll be like eight, maybe nine woodcutters. We have enough. Wonderful. I'll still sell over 400 just in case another request comes in oh but a boat is coming in now and it's november you know sell everything just to make sure we don't go into debt at the end of the year okay so we fulfilled a request that's gonna push our kingdom rating up so we might not have to even give a gift unless i go into debt but once we have six warships, there's not much more we can do militaristically, because they're gonna come from the ocean, I'm pretty sure. This is Greece. They do naval warfare. Oh, we maxed our sails? No, wait. Alexandria. Oh, we ma Oh, we actually sold that an extra one. Um, okay. If that's the case, yeah, keep that full. Okay. Troops for transport. Can we build transports? You can't build transports. I could build forts, but I'm gonna bu only build that if I really have a lot of surplus money. Okay, I can't go into debt at the end of the year. It's December now. Population is 9... 
21% unemployment. Population's 961. I could, uh, if I, these houses evolve, did I get it just right? Can we keep up with the food? I'm not sure, but we got to get up to a thousand people. And then we can figure things out. Uh, people are still very pleased. Okay, I just got to make sure they don't get too upset. Okay, it's January. The next sale of wood, I'll build the final warship. Here comes the boat. I love the art of the deal. I can't wait to trade my supplies. A price cut of grain. Okay, uh, I don't think that matters. Gods, yes. How are the gods feeling? Apathetic. Okay, I'll build one shrine over on this side because I think desirability is an issue. And I think we do actually have too many houses. So I might get rid of some of the one by ones. You bought a lot, okay. Warship Wharf, the final one. And a Ra Shrine. Yeah, we do actually have too much. So I'm gonna get rid of those and these. And use shrines to evolve these houses. Is that not enough? Two shrines. That should be enough, right? There we go. Room for eight, room for 16. 8, 16, 24, plus 78. Okay, that's a thousand. And even... Yeah, there's still actually a couple houses left to evolve if we wanted to go a little bit over. Which, a little bit over is gonna be good. Okay. Oh. And this immigrant here. I heard there is a job here for anyone who wants one. A thousand. A thousand population and six boats. We save the game there. That's a milestone. Okay. We have actually got one prosperity. Look at that. Wow. Five culture. Ooh. Uh, 45 kingdom rating. So we need a bit more there. Um, have we gotten the reward from the wood? No. Okay, but we have six boats. So now when we make a lot of money, I can actually put down the infantry and archer forts. I guess, just in case. Um, I, uh, if I do land combat, we're going to need a police trap, for sure. Uh... 22% unemployment. I don't think this. Can we get more antelope going? I'll put down the fourth one. I don't know if it actually makes things more efficient, but with the unemployment, it's fine. Here comes another trade boat, which we should still be able to sell plenty. Yes. It should be a full sale. Wait, no. Um, we're stockpiling 400. You know, we do max the sale at the end of the year. Wait, when's the invasion coming? September 31. September 31. A request for 600 copper. 12 months. Helping Kyrene could bring us benefits later. Okay. Which trade route? Athens sells copper. It's cheap to open. We will be importing 600 copper. Can I put this on hold for a little bit? Just to get the copper in? Okay. So we're a little over a thousand people. That's good. I think I'll save the money. See if I can actually get some forts down. Unemployment of 23%. Jeez. Okay. Importing the copper is actually going to kill our money, isn't it? Um, copper. Buyers pay 240 times 6. 
6, 12, 18, 24. That's 1,440. We're actually short. We'll go into debt for this. We'll need to make our money back. So the next sale of wood, sell it all. Okay, we gotta let the copper in. Is that another? I love the art of the deal. Yes. I can't wait to trade my supplies. Is he gonna wait? Sometimes these boats go out of order. No, no, he's trading first. Okay, good. Give me the copper. There's four hundred. There's six hundred. I'm going to let this come back in. I'm going to not accept copper. We're in debt. You can't put any more copper there. In case it glitches out, I wanted the wood to go in. Okay, we're going to stop importing copper. We're going to dispatch the copper. They basically asked me to buy the copper for them. Okay, more wood's coming in. Buy as much as you can, please, to get us out of debt. 1,600. Okay, that's pretty good. Have we maxed our sales? 2-7. Okay, that's, that's all the money we've got for this year, so I cannot build a fort. People are still very pleased with me, so the unemployment is not hurting us too much. Why is there fish in here? Ah, I forgot to set that to not take fish. That's why. That's totally my fault. Empty that fish out, please. Okay, so there's still 200 wood in there in case we need to repair anything. 40 months till victory. So September 31 is when they're coming. So we've got two years. I think we've gone pretty quick, right? If they're invading in two years from now. We've pretty much got a nice stable city. One more year of trading will get us our land troops. And I can even set up with this unemployment a police trap, which I think I'll just build here. I assume they'll be coming from out here, right? Where the, the trade boats are coming from here. So I assume they'll come from down here or up here uh, or up here even. But I don't think, is that? No, that's just everywhere. I don't think they would come from here. That wouldn't make sense. I suppose they could if they wanted to. Oh. So if I wanted to do a police trap. We can have a pretty large one. I actually want it slightly further away from my city. But I can't have it too close to the edge, otherwise I won't have room to maneuver. I think it actually has to be there. New trade route available. Okay. Uh, Kyrene. What do they sell or buy? They buy wood. And papyrus. But they sell gems. And weapons. So I definitely want to open this trade route. Because we have plenty of wood to sell. Do I want to bother importing gems to sell luxury goods? No, but there might be a... Considering we now have access to gems, there might be a luxury goods request, right? They're gonna do that. They're gonna do that. Oh, the gems are... No, no, no. Buyers pay 120, sellers receive. So we could set up a luxury goods industry. And just have it up here. Accept a little bit of that. Allow that to come in as well. And next year I will get that going. For now, I'll just put down two jewelers. 
Oh, those are pretty expensive, ours. 135 each, okay. Okay, we've filled up on fish down here, which is 1,600. Who knows the request, uh, if a request for fish comes in. So I'll make a little bit of room here. Just put some fish in there. There's usually a fish request, isn't there? If there is no request for luxury goods, we still profit from this. Okay, it's January. So I want to import... Wait, did I open the trade route? And I will export when it's over 400. Oh, I did open the trade route, right? Because they buy more wood. So I'm just going to import a little bit. Maybe 400. Yeah, and export any luxury goods over 400. So we will profit in the long run. Okay, this also uses up some unemployment. Yes. I love the art of the deal. I can't wait to trade my supplies. Oh, our kingdom rating went up by one. What's our savings? 1,600? Okay. So usually you need like... Um, thousand, uh, 400 in your savings to send a gift. So I'll send a gift when I hit 400 more than what we started with. These traps are not worth it. They are very expensive, aren't they? Well, I can shorten this trip here as well. If I build a road there and I roadblock that. Okay, we're in debt. The gems have come in. We're going to import 600 here. Oh, wait, no, we might actually import 800 units of gems because... 400 goes straight into there. So this first trade of gems. I'm going to turn that off. So that boat clears off. Uh, meanwhile, they buy some wood. That's great. Off they go. Traders come frequently here. Jeez. Okay. Go back to importing to maintain 400. The jewelers are now going. We sold all the wood. They buy 4,000? Okay, so we can now sell more wood than we can produce. Plenty of game meat as well. Okay. A request of 500 fish. You can have that immediately. Okay, we have 2,000 in the bank now. I can put down an archer fort is actually more important. I can put down an archer fort right in here. It's April. Yeah. And we should have carryover troops. There we go. We need at least archers, because if we're going to do the police trap, we need archers. Okay. One full fort of archers. The cobras. If they're just coming from the ocean, though, uh, we might not need land troops at all. But just in case. We could even wall up our city. We do have defensive structures, just no towers, which is what's the real killer. Okay, wood's going out. Okay, so for ratings, yeah, we just need a bit of kingdom rating. Things are actually crowding up at the dock now, but it clears off. It's fine. It's fine. We eventually ran out of wood. So it's June now. We've sold 2,100 there, 400 there. Okay, yeah, we're selling more wood than we can produce. And it looks like we are fully chopping trees. A gift of four weapons. I guess I can. Yeah, just allow it in there. Okay, we have 400 luxury goods, so anyone we produce after this, we make our money back. 
1500 Deben, July, okay, wood's coming in, okay, okay, save the game, yes, we should save here. So, we're about hitting one year to the invasion time. Let's accept that, thank you. Can we sell weapons? No, right? No. We can throw down a recruiter, if we so desire. I should put it down here, right? It's far for the weapons, but that's fine. Is this losing access to employment? It shouldn't be. A request for 1,600 wood. So we actually have to stop exporting entirely. That's gonna kill my... Um, income, so I really can't spend money right now. We have luxury goods to sell, though. Some gems will come in, but... Can I make more room here? Can I em start emptying that? Oh, there's not really anywhere to go. It's okay. If that at all happens... I can get some. Okay, what's this? Storms are raging and rough waters threaten to tear trading ships apart. It could be months before the winds calm and the merchants dare to risk their cargoes again. Until then, we cannot trade by water. Okay, perfect timing because we can't sell wood anyway. Alright, we're gonna bring some fish over this side, which makes a bit more room for at least one more spot there. Is this gonna mess things up a bit? That is gonna mess things up. We cannot have this... I can make this half. I need to empty the weapons. That's half, that's half, that's quarter. Yeah, we're not importing... Okay, that works, because we're not importing more gems than that. Okay. So we still have unemployment. Uh, I cannot afford the fort, so I'll just throw down the recruiter, I guess. So we can start emptying those weapons out. It's November 32. Less than a year to the invasion. We have enough wood. Let's dispatch that. We'll resume export. All of it. And to make money back, I'm going to export when that's over 200. Okay. Kingdom standing climbs. Very good. 51. Okay, we might not even have to give a gift. And we have 13 prosperity. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Food's good. Uh, employment. 21% unemployment. How? We've built more stuff. How is our unemployment... Oh, it's 18% now. Okay. Oh, something's losing access. Why are you losing access? I don't understand. Maybe if I... Lengthen this road? Maybe if I lower this road? Maybe that'll stabilize it? It should be passing no problem. Well, that should stabilize. 
Okay. Well, we can't do anything. Oh, it is January. January 31. Um, do I go into debt to build things? I think this is where I save. To start dealing with the invasion. Okay. Okay. We're stocking up on some luxury goods. That's good. We've actually run out of gems. I think it's prudent for me to put down the infantry fort. I did just save. And this will give me time, because I don't think we have a full infantry fort. This gives me time to... Okay, eight weapons. Yeah. This gives me time to rebuild my military. So I'm going to go into debt for that. I'm going to put a storage yard... Right here. Just to accept weapons. And you know, accept game meat. In case there's a request, because we've got a surplus of that. Please walk that way to get employment quicker. That'd be nice. Okay. Go dump some game meat in there. Here comes the infantry. I'm pretty sure it was Roman last time, but... Just in case, I want to have my military up. So we should be... Oh, we actually have 16. Okay. So we don't have to train anymore. That's fine. Traders are coming in, though. That's great. Uh, we'll buy the gems first, I think. I love the art of the deal. I can't wait to trade my supplies. Okay. It is the year 31. So September is when they're showing up. And then we basically have like a year and a half. Till we win. Okay. April, May, June, July, August, September. So I gotta save round July, just in case, just in case. Okay, the gems come in first, then the wood can go. So, this looks pretty bad. Let's stop importing that, because it's basically like a first time again. Of course, we got way too many. How did you even put in that much? <laughs> okay. We have 57 kingdom rating. Okay. I guess we don't need to uh, send a gift. Now, please sell the wood. I don't think this actually gets us out of debt. Oh, if we can sell some luxury goods, that'll be good. What a bountiful journey. Okay. Selling the luxury goods will get us the money we need. Okay, it's May. I think that's pretty much it. I mean, we have 10 weapons. You could import a little bit and get another infantry fort, but without towers, you know, it's more important to have a police trap. Okay, we're out of debt. You know, I might as well. I just do this. I mean, I don't have anything else to spend money on right now. So I'll just prep it. Four months. Four months. Okay. June. So I save here. I think that's good. The four-month warning. God's population is not going up, so it doesn't matter. The God happiness is to do with population. 14% unemployment. We can actually have all the policemen we want.
People love me, great. So I'm gonna be as prepared as I possibly can. We have a police trap, we have six ships, we have the troops we got. I don't think another fort of infantry or anything will really matter. Uh, boats don't really have... Uh, morale, so we can send these out. Clicking on the boats is hard enough though. Okay, I assume they'll come somewhere from the left. Okay. Employees needed, really? City is short. These take six. Yeah, we actually have way too much food. Okay. There's our six boats. It's July. Okay. Psych, they actually come from the swamp. They just spawn here on land. Land invasion. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't put it past the game to do that. Uh, our exports are over zero. Yeah, okay. Sell a bit more wood. I love the art of the deal. I, I love the art of the deal. I can't wait to trade my supplies. Are we still importing? We gotta resume import on that. Even if we go into debt for a year, I think we might be okay. I love the art of the deal. I can't wait to trade my supplies. Yeah, sell the gems first. That will actually give us time to get a bit more wood for you to buy, because I don't think it's anywhere close. Oh, it does actually show the yeah, they are coming by boat on the map. It's a bit glitched out, but yeah. Okay, it's August. This is it. Battle. So, we have to sink all the transports. And then military warships are not a concern because they can't invade the land. So I'm not concerned about that. We have to sink the transports, but it can't be that easy. It can't be, invasion happens, sink the transports, my ships get destroyed, we win. It can't be that easy. Okay, one month, what was that last mention? Debt, all right, we're in debt because of the gems. Buy some luxury I goods. If the city has any sight, I could see why they unload my ship. Buy some wood. So I actually dumped my employment into this police area. Um, we did save, so if I wanted to set this up properly, I can reload and do that. We're actually out of debt now, okay. It's September. The invasion happens this month. September 31. We're out of debt. The ratings are where they're supposed to be. We have a thousand population. There's no burial provisions. <laughs> okay. Foreign army invades. Is this our final battle? Go to the site of the event. Here, okay. So we need to make sure, um, I forgot. Set them to hold position. We need to make sure the transports sink. They tend to run forward. Okay. Enemy transport, enemy transport, warship, warship, warship. Is it three warships? Four warships? Okay, are these guys... I don't know what type of warships these are. Like, how tough they are. Five, jeez. Okay, sink the transports first and foremost. Now, naval battle in this game, we go slow. 
Okay, that's one down. That's two down. Okay. Uh, now, I will try and not cop out and actually try and win this. But there's not much room to maneuver. Okay. Oh, right, the troops. Ah, oh, well then, there's no more land troops. It's okay. I'm gonna try kill them. I don't want to just let my boats die. That's that's a really cheesy way of winning this, isn't it? But... We've got 15 months left on this map. So this can't be it. It can't be that easy. Surely the developers have tested this final mission. <laughs> okay, they're attacking our trade ships a bit, which is actually good. That gives me more time to shoot them. But military in this game is unfair on very hard. Are they actually gonna sit there for a while? That might be good. Have they tired out? Okay. See how many shots they can take? Our boats can't take this many shots. Jeez, we haven't even sank one. They're slowly moving, they're gathering up. Okay, we sank one. They're not invincible. I did sink one? Did I? Was that the second one? I can't tell. I thought there were five of them. That's the second? Oh, okay. Okay, we gotta keep running. This game really needs box selection. <laughs> Don't let them get too close. Because then they shoot back. And we can't have that. Remember, Space Invaders was considered too violent because the enemies shot back. Did you guys know that? I think it was the first game that actually had enemies that shot back. There we go. Another invasion in one month. So, I could... I'm okay with a little cheese. I'm okay with a little cheese. I just have to survive for one month. And then sink the other transports. And then I'm pretty sure we win. I don't think there's a third invasion. Even in these final missions, we were not given... Are they shooting back? How are you suddenly... Oh, we sank one. Even in these final missions, they haven't been sending three invasions at us. Okay, we gotta start running to the left, I think. There's only two of them left. Well, that guy picked up speed. Okay, we gotta run. He's coming right at us. Now, I can never remember if these projectiles are actually projectiles. So can we actually dodge them? Okay, we sank one. So just one left and he's not moving. So if we rush forward here, we might actually be able to beat this somewhat legit. Which one is he shooting at? We did it! We actually beat them. Okay. Wait, is that? We did not beat them. <laughs> One guy's stuck up there. Why is he there? Okay. <laughs> oh, he's shooting trade boats. Okay. 
It's super easy to win this? Well, you know military in this game. Okay, foreign army invades. Is it from the same spot? Okay, it's there. Now, here's the problem. I need to sink the transports. How many transports are there? Three? I need to sink the transports, but this warship here is gonna cause us some problems. After we sink the transports, I'm pretty sure we can win. Now, I think, if I understand this correctly, Uh, we should prioritize shooting the transports. Okay, he died. That's fine. So here come the transports. Bring up our boats here. Okay, there's four warships. Now, as soon as these three transports die... We should basically have one. Focus fire. That's one. Transports are easy enough to sink. Bring the archers to the shore. Oh yeah, we can do that. I forgot we can do that. That's two. And the third one. Guys, I think we won. I think we won. Don't need to use the archers, but it speeds things up. It's okay. I think we won. Now, I'm actually gonna test this. I'm gonna save right here. Battle victory. If I just let my boat sit, do we win? Let's say we have the archers as backup. Like, I don't know how powerful these particular enemy boats are. Because we've had some pretty tough... Oh, because of the attack of the Roman army, Athens has been shut. Were they important? They were the source of copper, right. Like, we've had some pretty tough boats in this game. So I don't know how tough these guys are, but I don't think they're the toughest because they're actually, they're actually kind of okay. Did they sink that trade boat? All right, we've got archers on the coast. They're not the toughest boats. Who was the toughest boat before? Was it the Persians? No, the Persians were bad. Wow, we won. <laughs> Monster Victory 11. The sea people, right? The sea people, they were so hard to sink. They were so hard to sink. Is that it? Can we send these guys home? How many of these even need repairs? Two. Two needed repairs? I think we did that very handily. We have so much money in the bank as well. I can actually just boost things up. Put down a couple shrines to Ra around here. Get all our houses evolved. Yeah, that's good. Squeeze in more houses, which technically opens up that. I want to win this, like, very handily. So actually, if I rearrange this a little bit, I can put the firehouse there. Change this road to have this road extend down to there. Roadblock that. And then I could get rid of these houses, because I have these houses here, providing... Um, stuff, yes. Make sure the desirability stays up. 
this will come down this way as well so we can actually just put shrine shrine make sure we double up the firehouse just in case like i want to win this mission i want to dominate this mission this is the final mission i want to make sure it's clear that i did everything possible Shrine, shrine. So even Ra will be super duper happy. That must make Ra super happy, right? 17 shrines? <laughs> Maybe we'll get a Ra blessing. Okay, those houses have moved in. So we can actually now get rid of those. So we have no slums on this map. Oh wait, we have this. If I get rid of these houses and just have the road extend down to there and just to make sure nothing burns down, I actually do this. So some of these things might lose housing access, but we don't need these anymore. And we don't need these anymore. Yeah. So no slums. Well, those will eventually be fed. Just need some water first. We've got eight months. No beautification here. Yeah, we can't plaza it up. There's no more plazas. Do I even have these still here? <laughs> There's no more plazas. Except in real life. Bam. We, we, can, we can do this. We can do this. <laughs> uh, designed by humans. Those are a product you, can, you too can own. Wow. <laughs> uh, stickers? Yeah, real life stickers. Plaza stickers. Designed, inspired by Caesar 3. But we can't plaza in the game. Only in real life today. We have 9% unemployment. So, you know, I can go ahead and complete this because I want to so we actually have a police trap <laughs> they won't all be functioning but there's no slums yeah those houses evolved perfect like I would actually need to rearrange things here but this is pretty good Employees needed. Did I overdo it? I might have overdone it. It's okay. There we go. That'll solve that problem. Six months remaining. And this is just... Victory. Guys, we did it. Plazaing it up in chat. Thank you guys so much. Ah, oh. so what do you think? It's the end. It's the end of Pharaoh. The campaigns, anyway. Hmm. Apparently, historically, Mark Anthony lost this battle and Octavian took over. Maybe this is like a precursor battle. <laughs> but it's the end. We started this playthrough in 2012. A year after I started my first Caesar 3 playthrough. Which I have since redone with crazy blocks. And uh, because Caesar 3 campaign, it's like less than half the length. It's like 20 missions. Caesar, uh, Pharaoh plus Cleopatra is what? 55 missions? Uh, or like 53 missions, I think? Yeah, because it's 38 missions in the original campaign, 15 Cleopatra. Oh... But yeah, it took us seven years of on and off playing. I actually have a trailer at the start of the Pharaoh playlist, which you should totally check out. And I always link the playlist in the pinned comment. Um, which was pseudo-promising weekly uploads. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. It took us seven years. Uh, but here we are at the end of Pharaoh. At the end of it all. 
Nothing else is happening. No requests. No more invasions. Three months remaining. Even if an invasion happens, I can I can still win. Oh. The end of an era. The end of the Gamazak Pharaoh playthrough. The first video was uploaded 27th October 2012. That's like averaging eight missions per year. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound too good, you know. But yeah. <laughs> uh, two months remaining. Two months. Archon, thank you. Two months. Two months. Now it's time to stream a whole playthrough of Age of Wonders 1. I've already played through Age of Wonders 1. It's okay. It's okay. You can check that out. One month remaining. 3,300 in the bank. Police trap. No slums. Kingdom rating 58. No gifting. No gifting. We did not even use a gift. And for the last official time in this campaign, we are going to proceed. Here we go. With Cleopatra's deep treasury and Antony's genius for tactics, Octavian's fleet and veteran legions have been scattered to the four winds. Romans impatiently await the triumphant return of Antony and Cleopatra. Hand in hand, Rome and Alexandria will rule the Mediterranean for many more generations. All right, that is the end of Pharaoh Cleopatra. Oh. That's it. That's it. That's it. I don't know if there's a cinematic. Let's just right click to, to continue. Maybe? Maybe? No, that's it. I'm here on screen. Guys, that's it. That's the end. The end of Pharaoh Cleopatra. And the end of Pharaoh. The whole campaign now completed. Mostly on very hard difficulty. I hope you enjoyed it. It's countless hours of watching. If you've watched all the way through from mission one, what is it? Nooped? Nooped was the first mission? If we actually choose mission here, go to individual missions. Look at that. Nooped right at the start. All the way down. Serbet Kadim, Medum, North and South Dashur, On. Oh, I like that one. Jedu. Dunkul Oasis, Darkla Oasis, those oases were pretty tough. Menat Khufu, Kebet, Wast, Icon, Sawu, He, Bubastis, Biblos, that's a good one. Rewarti, Hetep, Senusret. Then we went into the new campaign with Tutmos in the Valley, Kadesh, oh, Kadesh. Oof. And all the way through. Where shall we rule next? Well, that'll be up to you. Check out the rest of the stuff on the channel. We've been through Caesar 3 twice. We're still getting through Emperor, maybe Zeus, maybe Caesar 2, who knows? But that is going to be the end of Pharaoh and Pharaoh Cleopatra from 2012 to 2019. Thank you all so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video. Bye.